Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know, I'm on my TTC or trying to conceive journey. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the decision on whether or not to abstain from alcohol while trying to conceive. Now, if you're anything like me, you've researched everything and anything, and um, the short answer to whether you can drink alcohol when you're trying to conceive is yes. The short answer to should you or is it recommended to drink alcohol when trying to conceive, the answer to that is no. If you've done any research online, you probably know that the CDC recommends completely abstaining out from alcohol even when you're trying to conceive. So why are so many of us researching on whether or not it's safe to drink alcohol? We know that the CDC or Center of Disease Control is specifically saying not to, yet there's people like me that are still out there researching whether or not I can or can't. So my answer to this is that if you're anything like me, you probably talk to friends and family members and they've all said, oh yeah, I conceived on this crazy New Year's or we conceived on Valentine's Day after drinking all night or I didn't even realize I was pregnant until six weeks in and I was drinking up until that time and they come out with babies that are perfectly healthy. So I think that's an example of ignorance is bliss. Um, sometimes it seems like it'd be a little bit easier not to have pre-planned a pregnancy and for it to just happen almost naturally and spontaneously because then you wouldn't have all these worries about what you can and can't do. So I'm going to be talking about a few studies that I found and honestly um, there's a lot of stuff out there that's really conflicting information and then I'm going to go into what I'm personally choosing to do and I'll link some specific studies below. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you find these topics interesting. Um, I'm just sharing my journey and my research all along the way of trying to conceive and just the different battles that I've had to have myself on decisions I've had to make regarding health and fitness and you know really how far I want to take this trying to conceive journey like what I want to invest in like product wise or nutrition wise and like how much I want to push for this rather than it to happen more naturally um you know just talking to my mom it seems like we were all unplanned and it kind of just like happened naturally. So I always go back and forth with like having this um, really pre-planned mindset to like kind of wanting it to be more natural and spontaneous. So if you have on it, thoughts on those or if you're going back and forth in your head as well, definitely leave those in the comments below. There's so many studies out there with conflicting messages. Some studies say it's even safe to drink when or during your pregnancy, while there's other studies out there that say that you completely need to abstain even when you're trying to conceive. So I'm sure if you've asked your friends or family, did you drink during your pregnancy? 99% of them would say, no, of course I didn't drink during my pregnancy. And you know what? Most of them are probably lying because guess what? you're considered to be pregnant four weeks before you even get your positive test. So that's two weeks that the embryo has started forming or maybe even more. So essentially, how does alcohol negatively affect um, a baby? What it leads to if there is complications is it can lead to birth defects, fetal alcohol syndrome, preterm delivery, and low birth rate. So is it reasonable to ask a woman to completely stop drinking alcohol while trying to conceive, especially when there's women out there that have been trying to conceive for a year, two years, three years, five years? It seems kind of crazy to put your entire life on hold to you know, try to do something and you don't even know when it's going to happen. What's interesting to know is that three out of four women continue to drink even when they're trying to conceive. So, you know, if you have been drinking alcohol, don't feel like you're the worst person in the world because 75% of women are just like you. 
and when I talk to 10 of my friends and family members, all of them except for one said that they either chose to drink while trying to conceive or didn't realize they were pregnant and therefore had drank up until the time that they got a positive pregnancy test. So like I said, there's very conflicting studies on whether or not alcohol affects um, the baby if you drink when you're trying to conceive. One study that I thought was interesting was there was a study on 5,000 women, 25% of those drank three to seven beverages per week in the first 15 weeks of pregnancy. So that's well after they had a positive um, pregnancy test result and there was actually no correlation in that specific study with low birth weights, preterm birth, or preeclampsia. So even with studies like that, we've all heard of fetal alcohol syndrome and that's really scary. And it was interesting to find that the first trimester was actually the trimester that a baby is most at risk for fetal alcohol syndrome. And it's not just um, those women that were binge drinkers. So, you know, even though there's some studies showing that there's no correlation between drinking and some of these birth defects, and um, there are women out there that maybe did not binge drink, but actually did end up with a birth baby who had a birth defect. Now what about alcohol when it comes to fertility? There were several conflicting studies on this as well. Now I'm sure if you're trying to conceive, you're trying to be the healthiest that you can, working out, taking prenatal vitamins, things like that, and um, you know, alcohol is just another thing to consider, not only um, that the alcohol would affect the baby after maybe conception or implementation, but actually negative, negatively affect your fertility. And I did find that some studies showed that drinking more than five drinks per week actually did have a negative effect on a woman's fertility. While other studies showed that drinking during the trying to conceive period did not negatively affect fertility or that only binge drinking affected fertility. So is there a middle ground? Um, when I was doing research, I did find, you know, there's doctors that weigh in that, you know, one to two drinks per week is okay. You know, one drink a night, four nights a week is okay. There's just so many different recommendations from all of these specialists. So what is the right thing to do and is there a middle ground? Now, um, what I kept reading over and over again was if you don't abstain from alcohol the entire time you're trying to conceive, at least abstain from alcohol during your two week wait. And that's in between ovulation, so the time that you would have actually had conception and the time that you would get a positive pregnancy test. And at the very, very least, if you're not gonna stop drinking altogether, definitely it's recommended to limit your alcohol consumption. So, you know, binge drinking, which is considered three or four more drinks in one sitting or one night is considered binge drinking. And that's not healthy for anyone regardless. So at the very, very least, um, you know, it's definitely recommended to cut down your alcohol intake and you would be surprised to know what is considered, actually considered one unit of alcohol. So, you know, I'm a huge wine drinker. There's six glasses of wine in one bottle, which I was absolutely shocked when I did my research on that because I'm like, what size glasses are these? I thought there was four glasses in a bottle. So I thought I was only drinking two glasses of wine a night. Well, now I realize that I was actually drinking like three or four glasses of wine a night. So definitely take into consideration what a unit or a drink of alcohol is really considered when looking at some of these studies. And um, ultimately, the decision is up to you. You need to find out what, what psychologically matches you know, your morals and values, what you feel good about, what are you comfortable with. I'm not recommending drinking or not drinking. Um, you know, there's a different decision that's right for everyone. And um, 
For me, I personally decided that I wasn't gonna drink at all during the two week wait. And then those other couple weeks in the month just drastically uh, decreasing my alcohol consumption. And the good thing about that is your tolerance definitely decreases, which means that you can have a couple of drinks and still feel something if that's you know what you're looking for or at least just take the edge off if you've had a long day. Obviously there's other substitutes for alcohol and you won't be able to drink when you are pregnant or breastfeeding and correction when you find out you're pregnant um, and when you're breastfeeding. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely be making more videos on this topic. I also do videos on health, beauty, and fitness. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one.